Your body has all these amazing repair systems that you can turn on that have been there always that are probably not turned on. And every one of those repair systems is dependent on functioning mitochondria. Many of us suffer from low energy, fatigue, memory loss, pain, rapid aging, and more. These issues frequently have a common cause, mitochondrial damage. So what are mitochondria and how can we care for them? Dr. Hyman has discussed the important role that mitochondria play in our health in several conversations with past guests on the podcast. Here he is in conversation with biohacking expert and founder and CEO of Bulletproof 360, Dave Asprey. So in the science of aging, we know a lot now. We know a lot about what causes aging. We know a lot about the mechanisms. And in functional medicine, you know, there are fundamental laws of nature that we follow in order to create vibrant health. And there are systems in the body that are all networked together that determine the quality of your health or will determine disease. And, and two of those, well, many of them, all of them, in fact, are connected, whether it's the microbiome or your hormones or, or your uh, detoxification system. But two of the central features of aging are inflammation. It could be called inflammaging, right? And the mitochondria, which for those listening, those are the little powerhouses of your cells that produce energy. When you eat and you breathe, you basically combust them like in an engine and these mm -hmm. little little tiny things inside your cells that produce energy in the form of ATP. That is the central quality of your health, which is the quality of your mitochondria, the quality of your health depends on the quality of your energy. And so those two things are things you have written a lot about. Yeah. And you know a lot about, and we know a lot about what makes those systems go awry and how to fix them. So can you talk a little bit about that? Diabetes is a disease where your cells can't use food in the form of glucose <laughs> and air to make energy. It's a mitochondrial dysfunction, a metabolic dysfunction disease. And that disease raises your risk of cancer <laughs> and heart disease and Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, four so, times the risk if you have diabetes that you're gonna get dementia. Exactly. So could it be that all four of the killers are all tied to metabolic dysfunction, which is tied to mitochondrial performance? It turns out it is. It also turns out that your body has all these amazing repair systems that you can turn on that have been there always that are probably not turned on. And every one of those repair systems is dependent on functioning mitochondria. Yeah. So when we look at these seven pillars of aging, one of the first ones is mitochondrial mutations. So these mitochondria, they're ancient bacteria that are a part of our cells now. They look like little bacteria, yeah. and if you look at them on a microscope. And they have their own DNA, that's bacterial DNA. And, and so they're, you could say that, oh, we harnessed them, but from their perspective, like we found these mobile Petri dishes that walk around and do stuff, <laughs> and we're the puppet masters, and if we don't like what's going on, we just make less energy, and then they feel crappy, and then they do what we want. So literally, they're driving a lot of the, the, the reason that you just unconsciously reach for the cigarette or you reach for the donut it's because your mitochondria are saying i need food right now and they're talking to you and then you find the donut in your hand or you told yourself you weren't going to smoke today and you did well, who's pulling the puppet strings those yeah. little bastards are so <laughs> yeah let's they, get those no, no we don't want to get them we want to help them <laughs> you do want to help them because when they're happy you're happy and that includes eating the right stuff it includes sleep all, all the the good stuff that, that you talk about on your show mark however they mutate relatively easily. So they're easily damaged. Yeah. Right. They're easily damaged. And your job is to teach your body, you know, if one of them is damaged or slow, kill it all the way and replace it with a fresh young one because we have that ability. But if you eat too much, eat too often, eat the wrong things, don't do the other things that don't cost much, if anything, then the systems like that exercise and sleep and yeah, you know, th relax. things like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really basic stuff to be honest, but if you do them at the right time or in the right way or with a little bit of structure around them, what happens is the old weak mitochondria get out of the way and make, make space for young ones. And when that happens, all of the other repair systems can turn on. Each cell holds hundreds or thousands of mitochondria and mitochondria are the key energy sources for our bodies, which makes their function so important to our overall health. Dr. Hyman spoke more about this with his colleague at the Ultra Wellness Center, Dr. Todd Lapine. In functional medicine, we talk a lot about something called the mitochondria, which you're really an expert in. And it's something that is really the one of the keys to solving many problems and puzzles in chronic disease, whether it's Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or diabetes or obviously fatigue issues and so forth. 
fibromyalgia. Tell us about what are these mitochondria? How do we look at them? And uh, in, you know, what do we do about it? Our mitochondria, which are the power plants of our bodies, um, are actually way back when were ancient bacteria that became engulfed in our cells and are now the power plants of and our cells. And they have different DNA. They have totally, totally different DNA. Yeah, in fact, the, uh, Lynn Margulis, uh, uh, who was married to Carl Sagan, I had the uh, opportunity to meet her and have lunch with her. And? Yeah, bru- <gasps> uh, it, was, it was amazing. It she, was, for those of you who don't know, she's sort of an icon in the world of biology. Yes. Who- first described this whole phenomena. Yes, exactly. So she, she it was right during the 60s. Everyone was studying the, the nuclear DNA, which is the double helix DNA. And she, she made an observation that there, there's DNA in the cell in a circular form. And she goes, well, what does that mean? Where did that come from? So she, and she was actually a, 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 what do you call it, a protist. She studied small uh, ancient uh, bacteria. And she realized that that DNA reminded her of the ancient uh, uh, bacteria. And then she came up with the hypothesis that eukaryotic cells, which are the cells that we have, actually way back when those little bacteria came and sort of created this symbiotic relationship where you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. Yeah. And and that's really you know how we have uh, mitochondria. And mitochondria are so important. That, and this I always tell patients is that if you take cyanide, you will die in a matter of minutes. minutes. And the reason for that is cyanide flips the switch on your mitochondria. Turns them off. Turns them off like that. Yeah, basically that's what happens when you die. You have no energy yep. anymore. Lights out. And lights are out. Yeah. And yet there's varying forms of lights out with mitochondria that yeah. are really common, whether it's autism we're finding now, Alzheimer's, yeah. Parkinson's. So mitochondria, for those people, there are these little tiny things inside your cells. There can be hundreds to thousands of them. And they basically take oxygen that you breathe and the food that you eat and they burn them like an engine and outside and, and out comes energy, which is what runs your body in the form of ATP. TP. So that's what has to happen every day, every minute for you to run every chemical reaction in your body, to run everything that you're doing. Everything. And when that process gets bunged up, you get sick. Exactly. That's very well put. Exactly. You get bunged up, especially the highly metabolic is- the tissues. So things like the brain, things the like the heart are the highly dense mitochondria. You know, how do we test for mitochondria? You know, when you go to most doctors, most doctors don't even remember mitochondria in their in their training, nor do they ever test for it. So we test for organic acids for it. Um, you can also- It's a urine test. It's easy urine to test. do. Yeah, relatively uh, easy to do. And you can also do genetic testing for uh, mitochondria. When you get a, an inherited mitochondrial issue, that's where, you know, maybe seeing that's somebody- That's more serious. Yeah, that's, that's much more serious. But you can also have a lot of acquired mitochondrial uh, issues. And the, the good news is, is that we can heal our mitochondria. What messes them up? What, what messes them up? Yeah, what messes them up? Um, well, excess of oxidative stress will do it. So That's infections, yeah, yeah. So uh, excess amounts of uh, uh, free radicals, oxidative stress, because your 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 mitochondria is like a fireplace, and you throw logs into your fireplace, which is food, and you give off sparks. And you you throw too much food, uh, logs in the fireplace, you get too much sparks, and you get too much free radicals. So too many calories. Too many. Or too oh, many yeah. bad calories. Too many bad calories. Like exactly. Sugar and starch. And too many bad calories not compensated by enough dietary antioxidants is another potential source. Uh, antibiotics are huge, yeah. Especially the floxins. I mean, that's that's a whole topic under uh, unto itself as being floxed, which I'm sure you've seen patients yeah. uh, with that, uh, because they definitely uh, are uh, anti- anti- bactericidal antibiotics are definitely uh, poisonous to mitochondria and statin medications, and they do cause muscle damage and. And some people are more susceptible to it. Absolutely. And, and there's genetic, I think, variations in how people respond to statins. And that probably has to do with their mitochondrial right. function. Right. Uh, but it's it's for sure. So so toxins also, like heavy metals and pesticides are poisonous. Too much sugar and starch and calories. Oxidative stress that comes from inflammation. I mean, yep. that's why when you have the viral flu, you feel achy and tired and sore because your mitochondria are getting nuked. Yep. Right? Nutritional deficiencies, right? We yep. need all sorts of nutrients like carnitine, CoQ10, B vitamins all play a big role. Things like smoking, stress, and lack of sleep can all damage your mitochondria. Environmental toxins and eating a diet rich in refined sugar and flour can also result in mitochondrial injury. But the good news is there are many things that you can do to support your mitochondria. Avoiding ultra-processed foods is key to supporting your mitochondria. Instead, focus on eating real, whole, colorful plant foods and high-quality proteins and fats. Be sure to choose organic and grass-fed whenever possible. Support your detoxification system by drinking plenty of water. Make sure you're eliminating your bowels at least one to two times a day. Exercise regularly and focus on getting quality sleep. 
Consult a healthcare practitioner to determine if you might also benefit from nutritional supplementation. Thank you for tuning into this episode of The Doctor's Pharmacy. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving us a comment below or sharing the episode with a friend. Until next time.